So today is the museum's Osho Gansu program. It's um, celebrating the new year, and this is a year of the board. Uh, we have uh, demonstrations with candy making. So we have Shan, the candy man, who's a few people who still makes rice candy sculptures. And so he is making board sculptures this year. We also have uh, origami making. They're folding boards this year. And also we have activities where they are folding uh, boar ears for hats. Kaiju versus Heroes, which really looks at the artist Mark Nagata and his experience with Ultraman and Godzilla and toys of that nature coming from Japan, but really making it the Japanese American experience. I think it's fantastic because it gives people like me of the older generation and even older generation an opportunity just to be nostalgic and feel good on, on great memories. And it also gives a new generation and the newer people like ideas to like reboot a few of the classics. The Japanese American National Museum exists to really tell the experience of Japanese Americans from immigration in the late 1800s till today. So we do have a core exhibition that talks about those experiences, particularly around uh, the World War II experience when Japanese were incarcerated. We learn new stuff that we didn't know, and uh, we need to know our history all around the world, so we're not going to make the same mistake again and again. It kind of opened my mind about how we should be um, polite to each other, how we should respect other people's traditions. And I think for Angelinos, they come out to this museum because it is a focus on Japanese American history and culture, and today they're really getting to experience what LA is all about in terms of the you know, diversity that is represented in Los Angeles. Check our website, www.janm.org, and we'll have a listing of all the things that are happening all year round.